Hi, my name is Luisa and I'm starting my research group in the LMU and that makes me now a principal investigator. I want to tell you today what exactly I see based on my experience what a principal investigator is. We are an entrepreneur. We have to find the money to do our research. We have to convince people that our research is good. We are kind of like a little startup that is being paid, but we still have to get money to be able to get the students and to get PhD candidates and to get maybe a research assistant, depending on how big you want to have your lab. But we have to do all that and we have to convince people about it. So yeah, we are an entrepreneur. Second, because of all that, we are as well a secretary. <laughs> we have to deal with all the emails, paperwork, invitations, um, folders, all the stuff that it needs to be done to keep everything organized. I see myself like a lawyer assistant, <laughs> like somebody who is just starting to learn about um, laws because there are a lot of laws that we have to learn, a lot of procedures that we have to learn so that we are guiding the lab in the right direction. Or oh, what I never knew existed, I'm learning it right now. Then comes the part that is related to university, which is for We are a teacher. That means we have to transmit information to our students or people who come and listen to us and I try to make it in a way that the students will remember it. That means I have to check which didactic methods are available at the moment, which ones have been proved. We have an excellent person here in the Institute who is helping us to improve these didactic methods. So it's really, really nice. And the LMU uh, in the medical faculty, we have to learn about didactic uh, before we are habilitated like a professorship candidate or something like that so yeah that is a part of our work and we have to do it right fine I am a trainer I have to train all my students in the methods that are here we can I cannot just leave them alone many of them are just starting or were the first time ever in a lab and I have to make sure that they know what they're doing. And that brings me to six, which is a, I am a safety officer. Meaning I have to tell, so I have to prevent that the students will get injured. <laughs> that means with the training, I have to tell them extra what the safety measures are, how to be aware of them, how to inform themselves and keep an eye not only that they are aware of the rules to work safely but that they are doing it seven i am a science guide so everybody comes with a different background we have students or i have had students from medicine pharmacy biology and each career is giving them a different set of information that is spread around the natural sciences. It is my part of the deal when they come to me that I guide them in the area where I am. So they have the basis, but not always have the same basis. So I have to kind of like guide them through the science. Eight, I am kind of like an eternal PhD student with minions <laughs> because I am all the time doing almost the same as I did in the PhD. That means reading, informing myself, learning all the time new things, uh, going to seminars, uh, discussing science with other people. Nine, because I am training and I have to know the lab, I am as well a technical assistant. <laughs> that means I need to know how the basic solutions in the lab are made. I need to be able to make them with my students when I have to show them. 10. I am a person. So I enjoy 
being with my students as a person, not as a student, just a person. Somebody who is nice and we can, we actually spend a lot of time together. Sometimes I think that we spend more time together than I spent with my husband. <laughs> so yeah, those are the things that I think are included into the title and the job of being a principal investigator. I hope these points give you an idea of what a principal investigator is, at least from my point of view. Okay, so see you next time and don't forget to subscribe. Please remember I'm an entrepreneur, so I have to find money for this job. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Bye bye. I hope it. Uh, I hope this discussion <laughs> was able to. No, I hope this discussion. No, no. I hope these points. I hope these points make you. I hope 